Hi, I'm Crystal Stump, founder and CEO of ABC Consulting and former Virginia ABC Special Agent from the Alcoholic Beverage Control Authority. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we're going to talk about how you can get your food truck licensed. Pour yourself a drink, you're going to need it. Welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in for our weekly videos. We're going to be releasing those every week and if you find this informative and educational, please hit the like button, comment below, let me know where you're watching from and also don't forget to subscribe to that channel and hit the bell notification so you're notified of all of my new videos. So today let's talk about the food truck in Virginia. The food truck industry is definitely you know kind of ramping up it has been for a while but since covid in 2020 and 2021 the food truck industry has even grown um, even more and there's a lot of people who call in and they want to know if they can get an alcohol license for their food truck and i want to talk about that today so if you're thinking about opening a business it's always good to do your homework do your research gather all of your information before you decide to start a business and the food truck business is definitely something that a lot of people are starting and uh, I think there's a, a good demand for it. I mean, people are kind of expecting now to have convenience and easy. They want to just drive up and they want to get something that's easy. They don't want to wait in a restaurant sometimes. So I do think that it's a great industry and if it's something that you want to do, remember this video is just kind of talking about specifically for selling alcohol. So if you want to operate a food truck, uh, and you don't want to sell alcohol, you know, this video is not going to really apply to you. But if you want to sell alcohol from your food truck, keep watching. So let's talk about what's required. First of all, there is not a food truck license in the state of Virginia or a mobile ABC license for a food truck in Virginia. So right away, you know, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get a license that's going to allow you to drive to different locations and serve margaritas or wine or beer uh, to customers. That's just not gonna happen in Virginia. But you can have a food truck and serve wine, beer, and food from if you have a location. Because in the state of Virginia, an alcohol license is issued to an entity as well as the location. So if you're operating an LLC or a corporation, the license is ultimately issued to that but also the address of where you're going to be storing your alcohol and serving and selling that alcohol. So it's important that you have a space, a location, a property or land. Now it is also important, now I'm an expert with the state um, licensing process, but I'm not an expert in every city, town and county in the state of Virginia. So I want to say right away before you lease land or buy land to be able to put a food truck on and operate a business, you need to understand that your locality, um, you need to make sure you're working in a compliant manner through your locality. So they may not allow the space to be utilized for um, food service or to be able to have a mobile truck there. I don't know. You need to check with your locality to make sure that you can operate a food truck at a stationary location. Okay. But in, for as far as the Alcoholic Beverage Control Authority goes and their licensing, uh, I have licensed or I have helped people obtain licensing for their food truck um, lo in various locations across the state of Virginia. And how they do it is they meet the parameters of what the alcohol license that they're applying for um, has in place. And that would be first food sales. You're going to have to meet a certain number of food sales. So you can't just operate a margarita truck or a wine and beer truck and only sell alcohol. You are gonna to have to sell food. And of that food, it depends on the license, but if you're getting a wine and beer license, you will need to sell at least $2,000 every single month in food. And of that 2,000, 1,000 is in the form of an entree. If you wanna sell wine, beer, and mixed drinks, now in the state, uh, the, the state authority, they call mixed beverage license, um, that covers liquor, shots or mixed drinks. They call it a mixed beverage license, okay? So if you want to sell any mixed drinks or shots or liquor, 
you'll need a mixed beverage license. And that requires you to also have wine and beer. You don't have to sell wine and beer if you don't want to, but you are required to have the wine, beer, and mixed beverage license if you wish to sell mixed beverages or liquor. If you get that license, then you're going to have to do $4,000 a month every single month in food sales, and of that, $2,000 must be in the form of an entree. So if you can do $4,000 a month every, every month, you will qualify um, in the sales area of the um, qualifying. So the other thing you're going to need is tables and chairs. So you will need to be able to provide a service or provide food and a place for people to sit and eat that food. And the sales that you're required to meet will have to be on-premises sales. Those cannot be the to-go sales. That's very important. That's for any restaurant in the state of Virginia. You cannot count the to-go sales toward your minimum qualifying sales. So if you're operating this food truck, you have found a location to permanently um, put the truck, whether you lease it or you own it, and you, have, you meet those food sales for on-premises consumption, and you have tables and chairs, and, and you also need a barrier, okay? So if you've got the food sales, you've got your tables and chairs, you're also going to need a barrier to define your licensed area. And this barrier could be in the form of a fence, it could be planters, plants, uh, rope, uh, it could be anything that you're going to define the licensed area. And this is where people will be consuming the alcohol. And it's important that you do monitor that. It needs to be in a controlled area. It needs to be the right size for you to control. So let's say you have a five acre field. You can, you can license the whole area, but you're gonna to have to control it. And you're gonna to have to prove that you can control it to make sure that people do not take the alcohol beyond the licensed premises or underage persons do not consume. So your licensed area will have to be defined. You'll have to have your tables and chairs and do your food and you should be good to go to be able to get that license. Now, I have seen and also assisted with licensing locations who don't really want to lease a kitchen or, or a space that has a full kitchen in it because that can either be costly or it can be they want to be in a certain location but there isn't a kitchen and they don't want to do a kitchen build out. If the landlord allows and the locality allows, you can attach a food truck to your leased space to be your kitchen. And you can prep in there, you can serve from that food truck, but it does have to be attached and a part of the uh, location, if you will. So if you're leasing like a shopping center and you attach the food truck to say the back door or it's there by the back door and you have like a patio fence around the back so that your servers can run food back and forth between the food truck and the inside of the dining area, if you will. Um, that can be done. And it uh, can work very, very nicely if that's something. And it's certainly an option for someone who doesn't want to invest all of that money in a kitchen build out because they could either sell that food truck if they decide to close their business, they could sell that food truck, or they could use this food truck temporarily until they feel like that they've got a successful, viable business and then do the kitchen build out. A lot of people do that. And then they can still sell that food truck or they can use that food truck after they build out their kitchen to go and do catered events or to go and set up and sell from their food truck that way. But remember, they can't sell their alcohol. They could only do their food if they move their food truck um, off, the, off the location for some reason. Okay, that license, you can't just take it with you to another location and then start serving. So it is an interesting concept to um, think about doing a food truck and to be creative and to be um, make something work that you might not have thought of. You know, a, hooking a food truck to a building to be a kitchen is a lot less um, expensive than doing a fifty dollars to $100,000 build out. And another option is you may be leasing land that doesn't even have a building on it. And being able to put that food truck there and build a patio with tables and chairs and umbrellas, that is a unique um, setup. And, it's, and they're popular. They're, they're popping up kind of everywhere. So that may be something that you want to consider when you do your food truck. If you're interested in help, um, getting help with the licensing or any type of training or assistance with making sure that you meet those qualifications each month, we do offer packages for that. 
uh, visit our website. Our website is vaabc.com and that's going to take you right to ABC Consulting. And then from there you can click on the, um, there's a wine glass on an image. You can click that image and it will take you to our retail online form. And from there you can fill out all of the answers on the form. That'll come to me. And then based on your answers, I can give you an estimate of how much the license it's going to cost and how much our services are to help you with uh, obtaining that license. So thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please hit the like button, comment below, let me know where you're from, and uh, tell me a little bit about your food truck and what, what your plans are. I wish you the best, success, good luck to you, and as always, thank you for watching. Cheers.